from United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Being in space is something amazing. In 2006, Marcos Pontes was the first Brazilian astronaut to go to outer space. He lived there, in that surface, that very thin layer. First sensation you have is that we are so small, so fragile. We depend on this planet pretty much for to everything that we, we need to survive. Orbiting over Brazil, Marcos was especially touched by the fragility of the Amazon, the world's largest rainforest and a major carbon sink storing greenhouse gases. And this giant natural defense against global warming is now under threat. Between 2000 and 2006, Brazil alone lost 60,000 square miles of rainforest. Returning to Earth a national hero, Marcos, now Goodwill Ambassador of UNIDO, the UN Industrial Development Organization, is committed to create what he says would be the world's first eco-state, a place to demonstrate that development and environment can go hand in hand. Roraima, located in Brazil's northern Amazon region, is nearly twice the size of England. It's the least developed and least populated area in the country with less than half a million people. And almost two-thirds of them live in Boa Vista, the capital. Today, this relatively untouched land is on the cusp of rapid economic expansion. More than ever, Marcos believes now is a critical time to ensure that it will grow sustainably without destroying the environment. My vision about the eco-state is something that will serve as a model for the, the rest of the planet and how sustainable development can be done in practice. Such as helping industries rethink and innovate how to use natural resources more efficiently, eliminate waste, promote renewable energy, and generate more green jobs. Look at this. This is waste wood at this time. But if you pay attention, you can see how good it is yet. So this part here, for example, could be used for furniture, could be used for so many different things. During processing, often up to 60% of this precious resource is discarded or burned. What they want to do here is to transform that waste in something useful, like energy for this company and for the communities around and also to provide jobs for the people here in this community. Timber mill owner Jose Zani. That's an increase of 50 percent, all without cutting down another tree. In the next five years, UNIDA will provide technical support for pilot projects like this. The focus will be on providing environmentally sound technologies, helping industries achieve maximum efficiency, but with minimum waste and carbon emission, promoting renewable energy and building an eco-friendly infrastructure, laying a solid foundation for the development of an eco-state. A society where everyone values and uses natural resources carefully. Some may say it's an elusive, utopian idea, but Marcos is no stranger to impossible dreams. Growing up poor in the outskirts of Sao Paulo, Marcos had wanted to become a pilot since he was seven years old. When I said that, the first thing that I heard was, this is impossible, you're never going to be a pilot, this is just for rich people. And I became a pilot, actually I became an astronaut, the first one from uh, of the country. Three, two, one. Lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket transporting Jeff Williams, Pablo Vinagradas, and Marcus Pontes. I expect that my next flight in cities will not be like, uh, like scars on the surface of the planet, but beautiful tattoos that will integrate with the nature.
This report was produced by Patricia Chan for the United Nations.